All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. My name is Judson Powell. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, please hit all the buttons for me, and I thank you very much. So, a lot has happened. Uh, Biden chose Kamala Harris uh, for his running mate. And so now we got all the we get all the the uh, the non-participatory people. They're out there. It's like it seems like they are participating, but they're just participating uh, ignorantly. And that's right. I just, uh, I'm calling you ignorant because if you don't vote, you're ignorant. All right. That's just straight up. You don't. There's no. Okay. And once again, once again, I'm leaving the door open because I'm a good guy. I'm leaving the door open and say, look. If you can show me how this non-voting apathetic stance is going to actually help our race, how it's going to actually help, you know, people of African descent, if you can show me how it helps, then I'll join you. Hook, line, and sinker, I'll drop it because, you know, in fact, I'm being hypocritical about Kamala. I'm being honest. I, I'm being hypocritical because I, I don't really like her a whole lot, but... I'm doggone sure going to vote for her because right now this is like, you know, in the in the words, you know, of John Lewis, our great ancestor, he said, you know, this is like the most important election in in history, and this is why, because we're at a we're at a turning point. All right, listen close, listen to me, you know, don't just talk about me, listen to me. All right, on this particular point, there is no bigger election that has ever been held in the history of the United States. Why? Because if Trump gets reelected and goes unchecked, right? If Trump gets reelected and goes unchecked, you, you, you might as well just realize that slavery will be back. Slavery is a choice. <laughs> and the choice is don't vote for Trump. And I keep trying to tell y'all white nationalism, white nationalism is alive and well. These people ain't backing off. They still killing people in the streets. You know, they just they just trying to not publicize it as much. But there are still there are still black men and women dying in these streets from police brutality, from neglect, from lack of having health insurance and you know COVID or whatever they whatever they're dying from, they're still dying. All right. So don't so don't get the game twisted. They want us back as slaves. Why? Because we not you know they don't want to give us money. They giving y'all like I said. They giving y'all twelve hundred dollars, and they giving their rich friends, you know, one point two million dollars. Big difference. You know they're they're helping out corporations. They're giving these people and it's you. And, and the funny part about it is it's your money. It's you're the tax base. Who do you think is paying taxes? Who do you think goes out there and buys stuff, pays these sales taxes, these excise taxes, all of these taxes, these property taxes, everything? If you own property, if anything like that, what do you, who do you think is paying for all of this? And all of these, all of these billionaires are becoming bigger billionaires by the day, and talking about getting rid of stuff and deregulation and deregulating all this stuff and repealing all of the all of the Obama era. Uh, rules and, and regulations that were in place. Why? Because they want they want control back, and that's that. You know what? They are so greedy, and they don't care. That's how come they they continue to allow. You know, Trump was impeached, and they refused. This is how this is how tight they are, and they refused. You know. To put him out of office, and now we got we got the highest death rate from COVID nineteen coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. We got the highest death rate in the world, the highest infection rate in the world, and we're supposedly supposed to be the uh, the greatest country. We're supposed to be the greatest country on earth, and we're supposed to have all of this technology and all of these you know all of this stuff, but it's exposed us as being weak. Other countries don't respect us. And it's all because of Trump. It has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with, We don't follow the rule of law anymore. 
the rule of law is out the window. So what do you think if he gets if he gets a lame duck term? So if he gets four years unchecked to do whatever he he already done done crazy stuff, and and his people won't even check him. His own people don't want to check him. They'll vote against him when they go into the voting booth. But if everybody else don't vote against him, what difference does it make? This is very important. You have to vote like you've never voted before. Because this comes down to, it, it, you know, it's basically a referendum on who's in control. And, 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 that's what the, and, and once again, I will go back into it. Political power is what people with economic power seek. The, political power and economic power go hand in hand. When people get money, you know what they do? They get in bed with politicians so that they can get it. That's That's what this whole thing is about. You know, direct. Oh, they're gonna deregulate the post office. Y'all think that this stuff is just just happenstance? No, it's a plan. It is a plan. And you think, and you think, if they get reelected again, you think the plan ain't gonna go all the way down? Cause, they, cause, be honest. What's really they? They haven't. They haven't. You know, they haven't moved the muscle to arrest Breonna Taylor's murderer. They, 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 you know, because they don't care. There are still people dying in the streets. There are still people being shot and killed by the police. Innocent people. There are still people wrongfully convicted in jail cells and in prisons. We are the most incarcerated country on the face of the earth. Everybody, in fact, it's, it's estimated that two thirds of everybody in the country will end up either in jail or on probation or have some type of mix up with the law at some point in their lives. And, it, and I know it's got to be higher for black men and now black women. We've got nobody following the elders or the ancestors. You, you are your elders. You are your ancestors. The life force is in the blood. So if, you're, if their blood is running through you, then why are you acting completely like somebody that you ain't? Your, elder, your elders didn't act like Meg, Meg the Stallion and Cardi B. Your ancestors did not act like, you know, it's like, come on, y'all. Y'all got to wake up. And vote like you never voted before, because the, the their whole game. Look, their whole game, and, and y'all can't even peep game. Their whole game is voter suppression. That's their game right now. They don't have a game because they've run, they've exhausted. You know, people are just fed up with the racism and 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 all of that. They're fed. People are fed up with that. So they don't have their end game is what is voter suppression. That's why they. That's why they paying Kanye West to run, you know, as an independent. They're, that's why they paid off Nick Cannon to to you know to to pull back his story and to and decide with the rabbis. Y'all don't y'all don't get it, you know. And everybody everybody is 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 like just sleeping. And now the whole thing with Kamala Harris, you go like I said. She wasn't my first choice, but guess what? She my choice now. One hundred. She my choice right now, and so and so is Biden, because I know the I know that that's the only way that we will get through this, and then after that, be sensible, organize, and plan. Make political action committees rally around those folks that are trying to run. Look, there's so many, you know, my wife pointed out to me the other night, there are so many seats that are unchallenged and unrun for. Even in, and I, I didn't realize that there were that many, like, political offices. And I'm talking about, you know, in the state house, even in Congress, and then because nobody ever challenges these people because we are apathetic. Stop being apathetic. Go run for office, do stuff, you know, stop sitting there saying what the white man did and what all this. Don't get mad, get paid. Start getting into these offices, get power, get political power, get economic power, get all the power you can get. 
But to sit up there and not vote is ridiculous because there's no power in that. If you once again, if you can show me the power in not voting, then I'll do it. But there is no power in it because the, the way that the laws of this land work, the way that the law of the land works, there is no way that you can gain anything without political and economic power. They go hand in hand. That's why people with money run for political office. That's why people with money are always around politicians. That's why they hang it out. That, that's, in fact, that's probably the main reason why anybody would hang around Trump. Why? Because if, I, if I'm Jeff Bezos or if I'm, you know, if I, if I run any of these major, uh, you know, billion, billion dollar multinational corporations, of course, I want them to I want them to close the post office so that you have to pay me to deliver all your packages. Of course, I want that. You know, people talk about, you know, it's like, why? Why do people want anything? They want it because what It's going to make me rich. Why do I want Trump in office if he's going to? Because I know that he's going to continue to cut taxes on me if I'm a rich man. Of course, you know, I don't care, you know, the rest of it. And I'm already rich. I'm living in a mansion. I got, you know, I'm driving a Bentley or a Rolls. I'm chilling. Why do I care? Why do I care about the little people or what's going on? At, you know, because my reality is not your reality. All right. And then I also, I want to talk about Sumner Redstone who passed away at age 97, who basically controlled your life and most of y'all don't even know who he is but he can he literally controlled your life through the through the late 80s the 90s and the early 2000s he controlled and, and he's still controlling your life because they're the ones that came up with all this reality tv and all of this stuff even if they didn't come up with it they were the ones that made money off of it they're the reason why, you know, they're, they're the reason why you have all of these so-called reality stars and people showing you how to go out and fight each other in public and all this kind of stuff, which is crazy. Or showing you how to, you know, they created beef, West, East Coast, West Coast. They created that to make money off of you. So rest in peace, Sumner, you know, and, and he's the one that bought BET and VH1. You know, all of these all of these things that you watch every day, you know, he's the one that owns Tyler Perry. You know, he's the one that owns all don't get the game twisted. Cause y'all playing y'all playing at a low level. Once again, y'all playing checkers, they playing chess. They figuring out how to make big moves. Now one thing that you gotta figure out, look, get in there and play the game. But if you ain't in the game, you know, what we used to say back in the day, it's like lotto. You got to be in it to win it. You, If you ain't got a ticket, if you don't punch a ticket at the, you know, you not going to win. If you don't punch your ticket, you not going to win. You will lose every time. And that's why, that's why we are in the situation we're in. Oh, we not going to vote for Hillary. Well, you got Trump. So don't be mad and don't be, and everybody, you know, everybody want to talk about Obama, but look, things were not as bad when Obama was president. I don't care what color you are, who you are, you know, whether he liked gays, whether he didn't, well, all that stuff is all insignificant because right now the country faces a problematic time and you got to figure out we need leadership. We need somebody that's going to take care of this coronavirus. We need somebody that's going to take care uh, of the finances of this of this nation and all of that. And if we don't get it because look, Trump is not that dude. He already he's already proven it. He's not that guy. And the, and the border wall and all this stuff that he campaigned on, it was all just to just to motivate his constituency. Give them stuff that does basically smoke screen and mirrors. There are not Mexicans trying to <laughs> trying to brush the border, <laughs> and where we need armed troops and a wall. That ain't that ain't the problem, you know. That is not the problem. And then stop, you know. And that's the other major thing. Stop falling for the okie doke. The okie doke is has been in for four years. Y'all need to get the okie doke out. So vote Biden and Harris and. You know, do what we got to do. Just do what we got to do, but then get active. 
you know, and if you want a different president the next time, then, then make it happen. You got four years. Anyway, Fast 15 Minutes is up. Like button. Love you.